Two countries divided by a common language, the old joke about Britain and America. But for a hundred years, the Royal Shakespeare Company has been trying to bring the two countries together through a shared love of the bard. Now, a new transatlantic adaptation of Shakespeare's Antony and Cleopatra, Tony and Cleo, perhaps, is to tour the States. Our arts reporter, Satnam Rana, has been talking to the Anglo-American cast and crew. Bear hateful memory, poor in a barbers, did before thy face repent. A unique union of cast and crew from America and the UK for this adaptation of Antony and Cleopatra. This version is set in the Caribbean. It's the late 1700s and the eve of the Haiti Revolution against the French. The show is produced by the Royal Shakespeare Company, Miami's Gable Stage and the Public Theatre in New York. This co-production of Antony and Cleopatra comes at a fitting time. Exactly 100 years ago, a company of actors from Stratford-upon-Avon went across to the United States of America to tour for the first time. Shakespeare, he's the greatest writer in the Western canon. And so essentially his work lives on and can be interpreted in so many different ways and so many different productions actually sort of reflect what is happening in our time. The Royal Shakespeare brand is now a shared asset between the UK and America. In 2011, the company took a flat pack theatre to New York for a summer run. And Matilda, of course, has been a Broadway hit. We have a loyal audience in America and, you know, we love going out and flying the flag, you know, for Stratford-upon-Avon and for the West Midlands in America. And as a consequence, you know, a lot of our audiences come from North America back into Stratford. Yeah, so right. it's a two-way thing and it's really important to us. This play has been radically edited by former international playwright in residence Terrell Alvin McCraney. But with a cast of five actors from here and five from the US, how challenging has it been? The goal is to get all of those individuals and their unique flavors and spices to come together and tell one story. And so that was my main focus, regardless of whether they were the five from the US or the five from the UK. Anthony and Cleopatra opens tomorrow at the Swan Theatre and will travel to Miami and New York from January onwards. Satnam Rana, BBC Midlands today, Stratford-upon-Avon. Hope the weather's better there. It's a bit damp and dismal outside today here, isn't it? How's the forecast looking, Shvalli? Not better.